Radhe Radhe Hare Krishna to all the dear friends. Uh, today I want to discuss uh, about something. Of course, it is uh, connected to all of us, and uh, I would come directly to it. Uh, do you think that all of us suffer from some kind of perceptions about things or happenings in our lives, or I must say there are certain kind of mental blocks? you know that we have created in our minds and i would not say that uh, we ourselves are responsible to create them actually you know the kind of society the family the surrounding they are the ones who are responsible for creating these mental blocks i would want to tell you uh, some examples for example um, let us take uh, this instance of uh, our middle class families where children are asked to <coughs> go to school and be uh, very good in studies and academics and then make a career you know most of us have experienced the, these expectations from families and parents and of course relatives neighbors teachers and who not that only if you uh, you would be academically good only if you would be performing better in studies that only then only you will have a secure life in future i remember that in my childhood days i used to hear about this that uh, uh, either you would should have a very nice academic score in 10th or 12th otherwise your life would be spoiled so when i grew up uh, before uh, in my early uh, classes before i uh, came to 10th class high school so i i was told that Uh, if you did not perform good in high school then you know your whole career would be spoiled so luckily i performed well in high school but then there was this thing that if you did not get a selection in some good college engineering college or medical college then you know there is no hope left for your life or career then you will be a uh, average person or average you know performer all through your life so these are the things or i would say mental blocks or perceptions that we have grown up with but i don't consider ourselves or me or young ones to be responsible for them i think this is a duty of parents adults and teachers to not allow these kind of limitations to come into our minds but you know what to do even these people uh, do not have access to right you know exposure or knowledge you know they also uh, look to other relatives or uh, neighbors or uh, different people whose children have done uh, qualified some co- good college uh, to say it as good college you know even a good college is not a guarantee of a great future because you know career is something that you have to work on all through your life you know it there is nothing like you performed once or twice or you did qualify some exam or you uh, you got into some company and then your life is all set no the life is never set unless you are putting in effort daily effort or weekly effort or monthly effort and you can only put in effort into something only if you are passionate about it or you love love that process you know so you cannot be always pushing yourself you cannot push yourself all through your life you yes as students we do push ourselves as students we do things <clears throat> that we don't love many times we just do it for the sake of uh, getting something marks results career we do it as a part of discipline <coughs> but i would say to really achieve something very great in life see you have to love that thing and if you have to love that thing then that thing could be anything you know so i was telling that as 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 middle class families we were only told that only studies or academics are the route to a good life so that was one kind of mental block i would say that we have suffered from but now from on this point in my life <coughs> i can look back and uh, say that no studies are not the only way to make a good career people become good businessman entrepreneur or what not you know politicians <laughs> so another kind of mental block i would say is that in our society there is there is something uh, which is forced 
to the youth that marriage is very important you know unless you go get married and have family uh, otherwise your life is nothing you know but i do not think that uh, this is true because now at this stage of my life you know when i have come across <coughs> to know a lot of people in uh, various big cities or from western culture marriage is not a mandatory thing for happiness marriage is not really necessary um, to complete your life of course uh, in our culture marriage is a very sacred institution and i agree to it right but to make it as something that uh, unless you are married you uh, you do not have a complete life so that is one kind of mental block i think because you know it is never like you have control over all the things sometimes some things happen people <clears throat> are unable to find proper partners to marry so uh, that does not really mean that their life lives are incomplete because life is a complete thing in itself and uh, there is not only one purpose in life that uh, you have to get married and have a family and then only your life would be complete no even after marriage <coughs> life uh, does not really feel like complete because nothing can complete your life except your dedication and devotion towards the creator the almighty because god only completes your life and nothing else so <clears throat> so similarly there are a lot of other mental blocks also for example people have different kind of criteria to to think that their life would be meaningful like some people have a criteria that they should have a very big car or a very big house or these things like that different kinds of mental blocks and barriers some people have mental blocks like uh, now they have grown up to this age so now their mind has uh, will stop functioning uh, properly you know i have heard this so much that after a certain age your learning capacity decreases this is such a myth and lie it's a kind of mental block so many people believe that now they have grown up or now they are not into their teenage or 20s uh, so uh, they will be slow learner no i don't think so you are you can learn at any point of your life or you should be only interested into it and uh, as far as your brain is concerned you know new cells are being developed new neurons are being developed every time so <coughs> learning is not something that should be limited to a certain kind of age i have really heard about people telling that you know now uh, uh, you should not learn driving because now you are aged enough and your reflexes are slow and all that no i don't believe on all these things if anything that involves your mind it only needs your mind and not these kind of mental blocks so here i was discussing about mental blocks i am sure uh, if you got the gist of my topic or if you got the very basic of my topic the the thing that i wanted to tell you is that mental blocks are something that we make in our minds and uh, not always we are the ones who are responsible to make them in our minds actually the society the surroundings the environment is uh, plays a big role in making those mental blocks in our mind but yes after a certain age if you can see them if you can recognize them then it becomes your duty to get rid of those mental blocks and the only uh, assured way or uh, only effective way to Uh, get rid of these mental blocks is that you have to start taking action so when you take action and when you see results and uh, then only you you get rid of these uh, perceptions and mental blocks and uh, only after the action and the results that you get that you gain the confidence to move forward so i would wish that if you also get rid of your mental blocks and just live a free and accomplished life because you know life is all about exploring and not limiting yourself to your mental blocks thank you for listening i hope it benefited you so take care and radhe radhe hari krishna